I don't see this champion played enough apart from pro play and it bothers me so much because he is such a versatile champion. Anyway, to counter him, pick someone like Yorick who can trap him and win trades easily. Darius can win trades and if he manages to pick him with his E then it's bye bye baby. And Xin Zhao's burst and knock up as well as mobility to get out of his ultimate makes him another great counter. Jace for his long range poke, Riven for her mobility and Renekton for his general tankiness and damage make other good counters as well. Rumble's passive makes him charge heat up whenever he uses abilities. At above 50% heat, his ability and autos get enhanced and he overheats whenever this bar reaches 100% silencing him for six seconds and increasing his auto attack damage his Q activates a flame torch that strikes enemies in front of him in a cone like area when enhanced it deals 50% more damage his W grants him a shield for 1.5 seconds and also extra movement speed when it gets enhanced then it also increases the shield and movement speed boost by 50% his E makes him throw a harpoon of which he can store two of and throw in a quick succession it also slows any enemy hit and hitting the same target twice increases the slow when enhanced, its damage and slow gets increased by 50%. Finally, his ultimate creates a sort of firefish here on our location, which he can choose and last there for 5 seconds, dealing massive damage and also slowing any enemy standing on top of it. Rumbles need to keep the heat up above 50% to enhance their abilities, so don't be surprised if you see him throw an E to no target. I can almost guarantee you he'll be taking teleport since he doesn't gain much from ignite or any other spell for that matter. I would recommend you take the same, but the choice is essentially yours here. In terms of power spikes, his level 3 is pretty good in lane and level 9 is pretty good for team fights, although level 6 takes the cake here for obvious reasons. He shines mostly in the mid game but can also be pretty effective late game if he pulls off a good ultimate in a jungle path or something. Leandris and Morel and Omicon make a great combination for this guy so that even when you're not above his ultimate you're still burning. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, get out of his ultimate very quickly, watch out for his eat bar since he won't be able to do much for 6 seconds when it's full and a bit of magic resistance is great since even his auto attacks deal magic damage. Ultimately, have fun doing it.